That was amazing. Thank you so much, and have a wonderful Easter. Thank you very much. Good morning. Pandemic talk on the radio. And I get to get to go to work. I get to go to work. Came in here this morning and I saw this. Kind of a clean desk. A little bit unusual for me. But I'm going to go up and take my shower. But before I do, I'll give you a quick a quick bit about today, Tuesday, April 14th, a day that we can get to work. There are uh, great challenges with remote learning, challenges about uh, having the resources there for us. But once we start getting those resources together, it's, it's really great to have this this camera right with us as we are. So uh, today we're going to be talking about what you can do with this camera when it's right there with you. I'm back and ready for action. And today that's what I'm looking for. Some activity. Something to do with all the classes. You know, one of the things about media that's... Uh, I'm thinking about broadcast media, television specifically, uh, the popular mass media, that's really changed widely over the times that I've been doing this, the many years that I've been doing this. And that is, uh, I always felt, and I think there are a number of people like me felt that um, television doesn't need to be stupid. Uh, there was a, a long time, certainly when I was growing up, when television went from uh, three stations, three channels in the Boston area to five to ten to twenty to a hundred to today when there are quite literally millions of options of things you can look at. But the television side of things, the broadcast side of things, um, it doesn't need to be stupid. When I made the documentary on my uncle, my Uncle Joe, I wanted people to understand his way of seeing the world, his way of walking through his world. And that's one of the things you can do with media, with these cameras, is you can take us into an environment. And you don't have to assume that audiences aren't going to get it. You know, we do have a job as filmmakers, as media makers, to make sense of the images that we have and, have, and, and give people a a stepwise way of understanding that world, but we don't have to be dumb about it. We don't have to be worried that people just want to see a 30-second uh, selection from The Simpsons. <laughs> They'll watch the whole 30 minutes, or 22 minutes, 22 minutes, 14 seconds, which is even below that. Uh, they want, we want, to see the details, the reality of what's going on in a community. And that's what, as you are starting to make media, uh, both for our local show, Swen, as well as in your acting course, as well as in your intro to media course, talk directly to that camera and let them know what's going on for you. And make sure you have audio that's recording. That's what I'm looking at right now. So media doesn't need to be dumbed down. And in doing that, in having media meet you where you are, you can release a whole truth about how the world works. So we want to get an understanding of how the world works through making this stuff. And we understand how the world works by understanding how our world works, how the space inside these little spaces work, what's going on here, who are we? What's our relationship to this thing? So uh, today I'll talk about some things about media literacy. So one of the things that I've uh, looked at a lot is the relationship between three things. Between making videos, the action, or the, uh, the sophisticated term is praxis, uh, the theory, or what makes something what it is, where does it come from, uh, how can we understand it? 
analyzing things. And thirdly, criticism, looking at finished things and understanding them and understanding our relationship to that and understanding the relationship of the makers to the community they fall in. All of those things are about criticism. A key part of your work in this class is to show it to one another and to open yourself up to criticism. And criticism is not what's bad about something. Oh, you didn't do the dishes. Do the dishes, you're so lazy. That's what we think of as criticism. But in fact, it's, I didn't quite get that. I didn't quite want, understand why you showed the character sitting on the couch as somebody else was doing the dishes. Oh! <laughs> so actively look at the images and ask yourself, what is this person doing with those images? What world are they presenting and how do they want us to see it? We have to, decide, we have to start with what we see and then move towards what's the larger role that this, these sounds and images fit into. Okay, and as we're looking at uh, this theoretical underpinning and this critical underpinning of what is media, we want to understand how it's affecting us, and that's media literacy. Back at you.